Hey there, guys. Um, I have just kind of a cool video today. Um, I got these little bezel blanks um, from Amazon, of course, and they're super cute. And I just started making like little paintings inside of them. Um, they come, it's like they come to be made as earrings. Here's some earring hooks that it came with. <clears throat> they also have the little glass capuchons that you can put in like that. I have just been doing resin, but you can certainly do the glass cabochon. Um, and I got, I did try it with the glass cabochon. The only thing that I don't like is that I can't get it to where you can't see the glue. So that's why I don't use those. I need to perfect that. Um, so anyway, we're just gonna be using this today. And obviously I will put them up in my store. As a matter of fact, I think they're already in my store. So <clears throat> you can grab those if you want them. So when I've been making these, I screw up almost every time. Um, there's such a learning curve with um, waiting for your piece to dry and then putting on your next alcohol ink, especially in these tiny little spaces like this, because if you don't wait long enough or if you have too much alcohol ink, it just spreads and then there goes your whole piece. So I've kind of... I'm kind of still getting used to it, but um, I'll show you kind of my process. Um, and lately I have been doing <clears throat> white as a base. So I have a whole big thing of pinata white here. And I'm going to just put that as a base down there. Just going to dip it right in. And it doesn't really matter that this is coming out not white because I am covering it. So, um, but the white just kind of helps just create a base, uh, literally. So, put that in. I have been using another brand of white and the craziest thing, it, it was eating my brushes. It was an alcohol ink and it was a new brand that I was using and it was literally eating my brushes. So I don't use that one anymore because apparently it's extremely caustic. <laughs> so I'm using my favorite colors like I always do. Cherry, I did sky this time instead of ocean. Spice and kiwi. Um, those are just my favorites, guys. That's what I like. Um, but I am gonna do the main bases blue I think today and I'm using a well today I don't usually use a well <clears throat> but I'm gonna cover the whole thing even though I just covered it in white I'm gonna cover all this in blue like so oh I think I already like the pinata white better than that other white anyway that other white was crazy it was so like chalky and thick kind of <coughs> so I don't use that one anymore um, and then let's see I'll throw some spice down there and you guys know me I just like to make little dots but so when you dip it in here I'm literally gonna dip a lot of it off I like that. So far, so good. I'm going to kind of make it look landscapey, I guess. I'm going to put one more dot in that bottom corner. That works. And then I'm going to make a little red 
dot up at the top center there. I am rinsing off my brush um, in water in between, if you're wondering what that noise is. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little green dot in between all those little spice dots that I did earlier too. Obviously you're going to make yours your own. Uh, this is just what I'm doing with mine. kind of cool I actually think I might leave that alone so I'm gonna let that go for a minute and I'm surprised that I didn't I brought this paper towel over because lately I've been not liking what it is and I just smear it right up like because it's like ah I don't like it <coughs> so <clears throat> I have been using my little gel pens and I'm going to today also, let's see, do I want white? Or do I want black? Um, I'm going to do white around the red. I'm just going to put little dots. I don't know why I'm so into dots. <laughs> but I'm just going to place... Gotta get it going. <coughs> These are great gel pens. I think I have them on my on my store. They're the Uniballs. Uniball Signos, and they work great. And of course I'm telling you that it's not working at all. Make some little dots there. And then I think I'm going to take back. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm going to take black. And I'm just going to put some little dots on the bottom here. Maybe not. This one is not a uniball. So it's not working as well. So I'm going to do, maybe I'll just do white in there too. I have black uniballs coming today, of course. Because once I used the uniball, that was it. I had to have all of the colors. So, I don't know why. I just like it. It adds just a little something else. Of course, I'm really tempted to put a white dot in the center. Oh, you know what, though? I will put a gold one in there. I am going to put gold. I'm going to put gold right in the middle here. Like that. So, that's how that looks. And then I'm going to show you. You guys see that? And then I'm going to show you how I resin them. Like I said, you can just take these cabochons and, oh, whoops, it's not a cabochon, the little glass cabochons, and put that in there if you don't have resin. Um, but there must be some trick to the glue that I don't know because I'm just it I you can see the glue and uh, so I don't know maybe you need to put a lot should I try it <coughs> I 
No, I'm going to show you guys how to how to do the resin part. How I do the resin part. You can come up with your own, obviously, but this is the way that I do it. So, obviously, on my little sticky mat, there's some smush there. Put that on there. And kind of like how every other time we resin, I'm going to put it in. We're going to push it around to the sides. I'm hoping that this is dry. Should be. I'm going to give it a quick blast. <clears throat> um, but I'm only going to do halfway first and then cure and then do the other half to dome it. Um, because... Um, I just have found that that's pro that's the easier way to do it um, in the UV light and everything. It just it comes out it comes out better that way. So I'm just gonna put it right in. And you really want to make sure that you get all the way to the edge. Just kind of swim across the edge here. Just swipe it across, swim across, whatever. However you plan on doing it. <laughs> And then just kind of take a look to make sure that it's all the way around. This looks good. So I'm going to pop it under the light for a couple of minutes and I will be right back. Okay, so I took that out and I did notice that there's some ink on this top little part right here. And the easiest way to get rid of that is just kind of... File that off. See, it goes right away back to nice again so it's about halfway and it, actually this one looks pretty good um normally i would <laughs> i would put another layer in but this one actually turned out pretty perfect but um i think i must have put too much in on the first one um, so this one doesn't even need it. It's totally perfectly flat. I couldn't do that again if I tried. Um, but normally it would have, it would be sinking a little bit in the middle and then I would take the resin and I would put another layer in, but I'm not going to do that because it looks good and I don't want to ruin it. <clears throat> so last thing you do is just put on a chain obviously so i have my little chains here and i have these up on my store and we'll just throw a jump ring on here i don't think that'll fit it would be nice if i put things back where i get them originally that one will definitely fit but it's so big all right, we'll do that one. Um, and then I can find everything, but I don't. So. so, just like with all jump rings, make sure you open them up that way, not this way. Just throw it on there. Easy, easy. I love these little blanks. They're so cute and really easy to use. So, And you could really put anything in there if you had a, a paper picture that you wanted to put in there either a jelly print or a, an alcohol ink print you could just what I do is I because <clears throat> I did do one this is the one that I did that didn't come out very well because of the glue it has the little cabochon on the top but this was a jelly print and then I put like a map thing plus it distorted the color of that see that's why I didn't like the glue but what I did was um I took I took a stamper like this and my, there's a bug in the stamper. <laughs> um, that's why I, because I live in the garage or work in the garage. Um, but anyway, stamp it and then stamp it on your paper and it'll give you the outline obviously of this and then just cut that out and then it'll fit perfectly. So there you go. Um, the link to my store and the link to my Facebook page will be on the description 
And I hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye.